Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'll show you how to make your own watercolor bookmarks. This tutorial is super easy, beginner friendly and you don't need much time for it. You can make these bookmarks in under 30 minutes, but of course you can take as much time as you want. Just relax and enjoy the process. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments which bookmark you like most. And now let's get started. Let's talk about the materials. First of all, you'll need watercolor or mixed media paper. Since we'll be working with a lot of water, you should go for at least 300 GSM. Next, you'll need some watercolors. I have a pretty big set here, but you don't need that many colors. A basic watercolor set will do. Then we'll need two jars of water, one to rinse your dirty brush and one to wet your brush with clean water. And you'll need two watercolor brushes, a bigger round brush to cover big areas and a smaller round brush for the details. And last but not least, you'll need some washi tape. I mostly use super cheap washi tape because it isn't as sticky as more high quality washi tape, so it won't tear your watercolor paper that easily. However, make sure that it's sticky enough and doesn't lift off the paper when you apply water. Better check that before starting your actual painting. First, divide your paper into sections using the washi tape. My sections are roughly 18 by 6.5 centimeters, but you can choose whatever size you want. Of course, you don't have to make bookmarks. You could also use the painting ideas for creating greeting cards or just regular watercolor paintings. Just do whatever you like. We will paint the different bookmarks all in the same way. We'll be starting with the background and then work our way to the foreground. Dip your big brush into clean water and then wet your first section of the paper. Make sure that the whole section is damp, however, there shouldn't be any puddles. Next, apply some light shade of purple, leaving the middle of the paper white. If your purple is too dark, add more water and if it's too light, add more paint. Now use a dark pink and add it here and there, making sure that you don't cover all of the purple and still leave the middle mostly white. You will notice that the paint naturally starts flowing towards the middle and that's what we're trying to achieve. Don't force the paint, just let it do its thing. Now make your outer purple areas darker by adding more of the purple paint. Then let everything dry. While you're waiting for the background to dry, you could already start the background of the second painting to save time. However, in this tutorial I will show you one painting after another so it's easier to follow and not as confusing. When your background has dried, mix some white watercolor paint with water. The paint should be rather pigmented in order to show up on the dark background, so use a small amount of water. We now want to create some splatters, aka stars. Dip your smaller brush into paint and then flick against it with your finger. I would recommend trying this first on a separate piece of paper to find out if you got the ratio of water and paint right. If you happen to get really big splatters of paint, your brush is probably too wet. So take your time to test this out. Again, let everything dry. Now it's time for the last step. Use black watercolor paint to create some pine trees in the foreground. Don't try to make them look perfectly symmetrical, nature isn't perfect, so just scribble some random branches. You could of course paint something else in the foreground or vary it a little bit. I'll show you a slightly different option in a second. For the second bookmark, we'll basically follow the same process. 
background colors first, then stars, and then foreground. However, this time we'll be using different colors for the background, including white, to create a galaxy that looks a little more milky. Start again by wetting the paper. Then apply some blue watercolor paint, leaving some white areas in the middle. Next, add a little bit of pink in the middle, still leaving a little bit of white. Now darken the blue areas a little more and also add some more pink if it's too dull. Then apply the white watercolor in the middle and also a bit on the sides if you like. And last but not least, go back in with blue if you feel like it could be a little darker. Now let everything dry and add stars with the white watercolor. When everything's dry, it's time for the foreground. I painted a simple landscape scene with a little house and some trees, but you can of course paint something else. The third bookmark also follows the same principle. You start by adding blue watercolor, however this time, instead of leaving the middle white, you apply a light shade of green. Keep going back in with blue and green until your colors are as saturated as you want them to and then add some white here and there. And then let everything dry before applying the stars. From the last bookmark, I decided to paint a very simple mountain landscape. Again, you can paint something else if you want to. I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and tag me if you tried these ideas yourself. See you next time. Bye!